Hi. In this video, I want to demonstrate how you can add and edit an assignment within Schoology. And before I begin, I want to clarify a couple things. There are many, many ways that you can create robust, interactive, really sort of in-depth assignments within Schoology, and you can create really, really simple things in Schoology. So I'm going to demonstrate for you how to create a really simple assignment in Schoology. But please know that if you want to dig deeper, there's resources available and you can use a little bit of trial and error. So the first thing we're going to do is click on Mrs. Metzger's amazing test course. That's the course where I want to build this assignment. And my course defaults to the update screen, but as you probably know by now, in order to create content, I have to get to my materials panel, my materials screen. So I use the left navigation bar and I click on materials to do so. In other videos and other demonstrations, I've talked about the importance of having the contents of your course really organized using folders, making sure that there's not too much. You never really want too much going on here. And that's true for students of all, um, of all age levels, including adult learners. You wanna have that content as organized as possible. But since the purpose of this video is to simply show you how to add and edit an assignment, I'm just going to add an assignment. Now you might recall there's two ways to add an any kind of material and an assignment is material. So I can either use the add materials button right here from the top or, and you'll see that assignment is that first one, or I can use the, the green dotted line plus sign. So I'm going to use the green dotted line plus sign. I get the same options. When I see that line, I'm gonna click and then I'm going to select the first thing which is add assignment. So here we go, I'm adding an assignment. Now we get this big panel for creating an assignment. There are four asterisk items, and I wanna talk about the last three. So we do not use the built-in gradebook in Schoology. If we did, these four items, or I'm sorry, these three items, category, factor, and scale rubric would be really important to us, but because we don't, they're just a cursory thing that we need to look at. Um, so for category, you're probably going to pick ungraded. Um, it's that all that means is that it's not going to be calculated into the grade book. But again, because we don't use the grade book in Schoology, that's okay. Um, and a factor of one, if we used the grade book, this would be a multiplier, but we're not using it. So we can just leave the default. And for the scale and rubric, again, we can just leave the default as numeric. Okay, so just keep those three things in mind. You can you can just use the default and it will be fine. The real importance here is the name of the assignment. So let's just say that this is the first beginning week of a course. I'm just going to say I want everybody to write, you know, a um, personal introduction. Now, notice that I can leave the description blank. That's not recommended, but perhaps the students know everything that they need to know about this. Um, otherwise, I would put instructions go here. And I wanna point out that this is a robust editable region. You can use all kinds of editing of the fonts um, of the text. You can even insert links. You can insert even more robust content, but we're just gonna do instructions go here. I can attach things to the assignment. Um, I can attach files, links, an audio video recording, but I'm not gonna do that for all of this. I'm just gonna give it a due date. The due date's pretty important. If you don't have a due date, the assignment will not show up in the Schoology calendar. They would have to come and hunt for it. And with a due date, we're making it appear on the right-hand side, I'll show you where in a minute, and on their calendar. So I'm gonna give this a due date. I think it's important. And let's say I'm gonna give them two days. Um, depending on the age of my student, I might want to set a time as to when I want it turned in by. So for my students, I'm saying I want this turned in by 3 p.m. Now, for a middle or upper school student, how many points this is worth might be something that's important for me to identify for them here. So this is not a 100 point essay. This is going to be a 10 point kind of gimme assignment. All right. And now I'm gonna look down under options. There's some important things here that I want you to look at. It's especially this one, submissions enabled. Do I want students to upload something for me? 
whether it's a picture of what they've written or an actual Word document or maybe a Google slot, I mean, whatever. But what do I want them to give me? If I want them to give me something in a digital form, I need to leave this as it is. But if this is just a reminder I want them to have and I'm gonna physically collect it, then I uncheck that. So it depends on the, on the scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it enabled because I'm gonna ask my students in this imaginary scenario to upload a document. So that's it, I hit create. And there's my assignment. Notice as promised on the right hand side, this shows up for students. If I were to view my course as a student, I would see that they have this reminder that the personal introduction is due on Thursday, March 12th by 3 p.m. And if I look at the assignment now that it's created, I can see where I had the instructions. I can see when it was posted. Um, students can comment if they have questions about the assignment. And it also tells me how many I've received. Let me look at my students. I have none submitted yet, which is expected. Um, but it'll even tell me if I need to grade them, which ones are on time, if any are late, and which ones have already been graded. So this will keep track for me. That's true for digital submissions. And if I need to edit the assignment, I've got that gear icon that I know to look for. And this gives me the opportunity to edit the assignment in any way, or even let's say, oops, I changed my mind. I don't want them to see this yet. I could even unpublish it from here. But if I click the edit button, I'll be back at my familiar screen that I saw before where I can maybe update the instructions because I've received too many questions, change the due date, change the due time, um, decide that I no longer want to collect this digitally. So you can create the assignment and then you can even fine tune it from there once it's posted. So just keep all of that in mind. Remember, save changes. And if I need to go back and look at my assignments, I would be going to materials. I would be looking at my content. I'd find my assignment and I'd press that gear icon to edit this. I hope this information is helpful.